Welcome to the Consciousness Anywhere and Everywhere podcast. I am Shannon O'Hara and I invite you to a completely new world of possibilities. Welcome to the Consciousness Anywhere podcast. If you are familiar with this podcast, yes, it has in fact been ages since the last episode. This seems to be my rhythm. What's what's right about this we're not getting. I am so happy to be creating a new episode with you guys and for you guys on the six elements of sexual energy. So if you're brand new to the Consciousness Anymore podcast, I'm Shannon O'Hara, and there is a huge library of podcasts primarily dedicated to uh, the expansion and growth of consciousness with the utilization of the tools of access consciousness. We have a wide ranging in-depth library. If you haven't enjoyed it yet, go check it out. If you have already listened to all the episodes, uh, you might want to re-listen. There is a lot of treasure in there. So what are the six elements of sexual energy? They are sex, S-E-X, sexualness, sensuality, sexuality, copulation, and orgasm. So those are the six elements that actually comprise the sexual universe. Now, why is this important? Have you ever, trick question, have you ever been confused about sex? Has it ever been hard? Has it ever been unclear? Have you, do you have easy access to sexual energy or what comes up even when you hear the word sexual? Sexual energy is like life force. It is this incredibly generative energy that doesn't necessarily have to do with copulation, but if you're not clear on the difference between these six elements, it's super easy to exclude the sexual energies that could and would contribute dynamically to your body, to your life, to your experience of living. I know that sex is a really polarized topic. And the six elements of sexual energy uh, was coined by Gary Douglas, who is the founder and creator of Access Consciousness. And in my learning of the difference, the different elements of sexual energy, it created so much more freedom and ease for me. I thought, what a cool thing to share. I have a really good uh, girlfriend of mine Katerina Valentine, who I was on her podcast a couple months ago, and she actually was asking me a lot of questions about sex, which is a conversation I don't get to usually have. It's not, I'm not, I don't facilitate a lot of classes on sex. I don't do a lot of stuff about sex, but it's um, such an, it's, it's actually the topic that is like the most fun to talk about and feels the most yummy and generative for me, since sexual energies really don't come from the head. It's really all about the body, unless you're in fantasy land, which we're going to get into that. So she was asking me all these questions about sex. And if you um, haven't listened to that podcast, it's on her podcast. And I will leave a link for that below. And she titled it Plugging into the Universe. Uh, And it's, I thought, a very cool conversation. If you want more of this, please check that out. So what do the six elements mean? The first element, sex. So sex is actually not the copulation. It's not the putting the body parts together. It's when you're feeling amazing in your body, when you are totally willing to receive energy, receive lust, be seen, flow energy, feel great. It's when your body feels amazing, you're not hiding. Uh, That's actually the energy of sex. Sexualness is the second element. Sexualness, which isn't a word you're going to find in the dictionary, but I believe it's one that was coined by Gary, uh, is infinite perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. Why would you want that? So that element of sexualness is actually what you're experiencing, for example, after you've been for a walk in the deep woods, or out for a good surf, or when you're alone in nature. It's that energy of peace that is sort of hard to find around people, but we too do tend to have it in nature because nature is infinitely perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. 
So the en energies and elements of sexualness are energies that we come in with as, you know, infinite beings into little baby bodies and kind of lose in favor of the third element of sexual energy, which is sexuality. So sexuality is always the judgment of. It's the judgment of what, who and what you will receive sexual energy from. People who have a lot of sexuality are the people who are always proving a lot sexually. It's the force and the violence of sexual energy. Uh, sexuality, an example of is, I'm a heterosexual female, therefore I will only receive sexual energy from this specific kind of man. And in that uh, definition and choice for sexuality, we're actually limiting the energy that we can receive and in so doing, losing infinite sexualness, which is the ability to perceive and receive everything. I know that perceiving and receiving everything either might sound exciting to you or might sound scary, uh, which might also feel be like what you feel about sex, exciting and scary, <laughs> or confronting, or clueless, or, you know, happy, or... But when you go into the sexuality, it's the definition and the judgments of what's okay to receive and what's not okay to receive. And that eliminates the sexualness. That's the infinite perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. People who do a lot of sexuality um, are the people that have to prove a lot. So that's the uh, needing to be validated for being sexy or um, needing to be validated by a sexual partner or short skirts or... Uh, the force and violence of sex. So that's what we see a lot in pornography. So that's the sexuality spectrum, which is part of this world. And that is a choice. However, it might not be the most fun sexual choice you could be having. So we've covered sex, feeling amazing in your body, receiving energies from everywhere and everything. Uh, flowing energy, willing to receive lust, not an expectation or projection about what you have to do or be for anybody else, but just love and life and loving being in a body. Sexuality, infinite perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. That's what you have when you're deep in nature. Or even when you're holding like a newborn baby. That's that deep sense of peace and communion and sensation with the body. Sexuality is the judgment of what you will and won't receive sexually. I have to tell you guys something. I'm on a boat right now. I'm on a houseboat that's moored to a dock. And if you can hear it, I think you probably can't. But if you did hear just a lot of something creaking, it is because I'm on a boat. And I can hear the stairs creaking against the boat, against the dock. So if that's what you're hearing, I am on a boat. Um, please excuse the, the boat noises. Boat life. Okay, so the fourth element of sexual energy is sensuality. So this is the sensual experience, the sensory experience of having a body. It's the sense of the sun on your face, the smell of nature, the, the, the sense of eating delicious food, the senses of a good hug, the sensation of copulation, the sensation of hurting yourself, all sorts of sensualness which does not mean copulation. So one would hope that you have a sensualness in your copulation, but a lot of people don't have sensualness in their copulation, i.e., I case in point, pornography, right? There's not a lot of sensualness or kindness and enjoyment of bodies going on there. So sensualness is a component of the sexual spectrum and you don't have to have that with somebody else, although you can have that with somebody else. Sensualness is the experience of your own body. Sense more. The fifth element is copulation, and that's putting the body parts together. I think we all know what that is. But you can start to see that if your copulation is devoid of sensualness, or if you have sen it, or how much sensuality are you excluding because you think it it has to lead to copulation you know does sensuality have to lead to copulation or is sensuality something that you can have completely independent of putting the body parts together 
you know, it's like, how many times do you guys get confused about a hug? Like, does that mean something? Where's that supposed to lead? Or a back rub or a foot rub or, you know, it's, it's not that they all go together. It's that these elements exist independent of one another. They play with each other sometimes, but they are not one another. Sensuality can contribute to great copulation, but copulation can exist without sensuality. So that's the fifth element of sexual energy. And the final element is orgasm, which is the energy of the cre that creates bodies. Literally, somebody had an orgasm and then your body was created. Orgasmic energy is the energy that creates our bodies. And it doesn't just have to be that one time of conception. It is actually a free energy that all of our bodies have available that some of us have more ease with than others. Some of us have a greater sort of depth of um, connection to that choice than others. However, all bodies and organisms have this energy inbuilt. The energy of orgasm, if you will even have more orgasmic energy in your body now as you're listening to this just by simply allowing your body to feel good. You know, there's that mellow, gentle orgasm of just, yes, bliss. And then there's the explosive, out-of-control, surrendering orgasms that shift all of your hormones, that are a neurological dopamine surge, that are the expression of the bliss of embodiment. What would it take for all to have more orga orgasmic energy in their body? And... I'm not naive in bringing this up, and I'm not saying that everyone should have more orgasms. I'm saying, have you allowed orgasmic energy to be present in your body and in your life? What comes up for you when I say the word orgasm? In fact, what comes up for you even when I say the word sex? It's these ideas, these images, these reactions, these 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 nonverbal uh, charges that we get around sex that unfortunately uh, exclude a lot of us from having way more ease and fun with the sexual energies in our lives. So knowing the six elements of sexual energy may or may not help you have more fun and identify like what you're dealing with and knowing what you're dealing with. And for me, I know for sure when I kind of got these different six elements of sexual energy, I was able to then be better to myself sexually in terms of allowing, like actually exploring and exercising um, sensuality, you know? Do you have a sensuality priority in your life? <laughs> does your, you know, does your life include having a sensual experience, and I don't mean a sexual experience, I mean a sensual experience. It's a totally different, I think it's pretty unpopular in this day and age, because we live in the head era where thinking is like super dominant, and sensual, and like the body's experience tends to be um, invalidated, or made less valuable, or less, uh, less. But if you didn't have a body, you wouldn't have sexual energies. You wouldn't copulate. You wouldn't have the gift of sensation. You wouldn't have that experience of energetics. And sexual energies are deeply connected to receiving. When you receive more, it increases the sexual flows. And so if you're less... Um, comfortable or more in reaction or more barriered to sexual energies, all six, all six, then you tend to shut off receiving. And receiving is how all of life comes to you at ease. So even if you're not interested in having copulation with somebody else, what if you could have the sexual energies in your life for you? to increase receiving, to increase the vitality of the body, to have more fun, to invite living through the gift of sexual energies. 
And then if you do have an interest in having a sexual partner or multiple sexual partners, how can this information increase, add to that, make it more fun, make it easier on all of you? You know, recognizing that sexuality is always a limitation of what you won't receive. Sensualness is, can be a great addition to copulation. Sexualness is a space that few with bodies are willing to occupy as adults, however, has far more space in it. Then there is the possibility of copulation and orgasm that can come from copulation or can come from being can come from the orgasm of eating, can come from the orgasm of being alive. Orgasm, orgasm, orgasm. Do you let yourself have enough orgasm in your life? So, what sexual elements could you relax into? Could you be more friendly with, more positive with, more clear with, that could give your life and your experience of having a body so much more fun and so much more joy. Thank you for tuning in. I'm doing a class on the six elements of sexual energy, which will involve far more in-depth clearings. Uh, whether you listen to this and you like had a really easy experience with this conversation, or you notice you had a lot of stuff coming up, or things where you're like, oh, I'd like to have that, but there's this huge wall there or this, these restrictions, these reactions. I'm doing a class. We're going to use the tools of access consciousness. We're going to do some deep, 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 deep clearings on all of the things that we've bought into, that we've created, that we've chosen that don't allow easy access to sexual energies. So if you would like to have more ease with that, please check out the upcoming six elements of sexual energy class. It will be linked in the show notes. And if you're listening to this in the future, that class happened. It will be linked also in the show notes. So you could look at it as a product after the fact and explore what is possible for you if you're willing to have more sexual energy in your life. Thank you for listening to this show. My target is to make consciousness easy to find and choose. So if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a five-star review on iTunes and share this with somebody who you know who might be looking for more consciousness in their life. You can visit me on shannon-ohara.com or talktotheentities.com. And to learn more about the amazing tools of Access Consciousness, you can visit accessconsciousness.com and be sure to subscribe to the podcast. <music>